Thank you, by the way, to my moderators. I see uh, Tim is here and, and Millicent is here, of course, moderating in the chat. Moderators, they were like live chat terminators. It was incredible. So you mean to tell me that Steve Shive didn't want his live chat fucking being disrupted by hateful, abusive, bullying assholes, and he got rid of their messages? You do realize that Steve Shives is an oversensitive pussy that gets offended and blocks people when they ask anything that he remotely doesn't like, or if they have beliefs that disagree with his. You get that, right? Well, it seems rather hard that you would be against that, Patrick, because I thought... I thought you were against bullying and harassment. Do you want a perfect example of the type of question that would be deleted by Steve Shab's moderators and you would claim was harassment? Would be me asking him politely why he blocked me on Twitter without ever having spoken with me. Hell, I hadn't even heard of him and I was blocked by him. How's that? That is the type of thing that will get deleted. So how do you know that was harassment and bullying? You don't. I mean, it's almost as if that disclaimer you have at the start of your video stating that you don't want people to bully and harass uh, the people you make videos to. It's almost as if that disclaimer is disingenuous, dishonest bullshit from a fucking huckster. No, y'all. The irony is not lost on me that he is saying the bearing is disingenuous when Kevin Logan himself associates with a known doxer in Christy Winters. Yeah, I think it's pretty funny. And who the fuck are you, Kevin Logan, to call that uh, disclaimer disingenuous? Hmm? At least we put them up there. You don't have the balls to do it. And besides, we're not the ones doxing people. You guys are. So, you're the disingenuous ones. You're the ones that need to grow up. Merry 